Hey guys, Hextratech here for another video, and today we're going to be looking at how you can use custom backgrounds in Microsoft Teams. Now, as you guys might have seen, Microsoft Teams now has the ability to set background effects, which means that you have a list of preset options that you can pick from for your backgrounds in Microsoft Teams. However, you cannot officially yet pick custom backgrounds. Now, there is a workaround for that, which I'm going to show you in this video. And we're going to go ahead and just hop into that now. So here I have um, up just a website. Um, this is actually where I get some of my images uh, royalty free here um, on pixabay.com. Um, but you can essentially, again, this is something if you're just using it for your work meetings, you can go anywhere you want really to find, um, you know, some images to use, whether or not you want it to be something serious or if you want it to be um, something maybe just like an inside joke with your company or whatever it is. Um, but certainly if you want to do something serious, for example, you can go in. There's just a ton of different backgrounds out here you can pick from. So here is just an example of something where I can go ahead and download uh, this particular image. And once I download that image, um, I can now go ahead and um, put it in a specific location so that I can use it with Microsoft Teams. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do here is how to actually get that file that you want to put into... Uh, teams to use as your background. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up my file explorer here. So once you have your file explorer up here, what I'm going to do, first of all, you want to obviously make sure you know where that uh, file that you downloaded is, whatever the image is. Uh, but once you know where that's at, copy it, and then we're going to navigate to app data. And so you're going to just type in percent sign, app data, percent, press enter. And then we're going to scroll down to the Microsoft options here, specifically just Microsoft. Scroll down to Teams, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and navigate navigate to Backgrounds and Uploads. Now, I've got some other images here that I'm obviously using and just testing, um, but I'm going to go ahead and paste in the one that I found earlier um, into here. Uh, so this is the image that I was able to... Um, download from pixabay.com and if I want to use this image in Teams once I put it into the uploads folder here um, all I have to do is now simply relaunch Teams okay and here you can see that I have my background um, that I've just put in there this is the one that I just downloaded and I just put it into the uploads folder and you can see just how realistic it looks in Teams here this is what the background actually looks like and um, I will mention that the formatting probably will matter it looks like JPEG files um, and PNG files definitely work. I haven't tried any other formats, um, but these definitely do work right now. And again, that's all you have to do. You simply navigate to app data, um, type it in just the way that I showed on the screen there. Um, you'll go into Microsoft, Teams, Backgrounds, Uploads, put your picture in there, relaunch Teams if you already have it open. And once you've relaunched Teams or you launch Teams, when you go in here, you're going to see it. And again, just to show you how you get here, all you do is you simply click on the three dots here. You go to show background effects. And if you scroll down from the list that populates, you're going to see all of the preset Microsoft backgrounds that are already in there, which is everything above here. And then I've got my ones that I'm testing out here, uh, but specifically this one here. And that's it. So I have my specific um, image here that, um, that I'm using as my background. You can see how realistic it looks as well. Um, obviously, depending on how you have things positioned, um, there could be some graininess here, and you can see it's not going to always perfectly uh, remove the background here, but in my case, it does a pretty good job, um, and in most of my videos, you'll see I'm actually using um, a similar kind of feature to remove the background there um, in my uh, little thumbnails that you see, so um, it's a really useful feature, and certainly in this time right now where we have a lot of people that are working remote who are able to work remote uh, and using just a, a variety of tools for those that are using Teams, it's definitely nice to have that similar option that Zoom has had for some time now, so that if you do have a background you don't necessarily want people to see, um, you can easily use whatever you want. Um, I will note that in the future, in the near future, Teams should be releasing this feature officially, so you'll have an official way to upload custom backgrounds, but in the meantime, this seems to work very reliably, uh, and it's really easy to do, so definitely check it out. 
Um, other than that, guys, that's all I wanted to show you in this quick video. I uh, hope you found this useful. If you guys are interested, there's a number of ways that you can support my channel in the description, so definitely check that out. Um, you can get free stock using the links that are in the description. There's also a number of other things in there, like a free debit card you can get that's going to save you money um, in stores that you go to as much as 10% off, and a number of other, other different free things that you can do to support the channel, or you can even donate if you'd like as well. Uh, again, that's it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.